Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is, if you don't enjoy the first book in a series, do you continue reading the series? As a general rule, no. However, there are three circumstances in which I might. If the series was a personal recommendation from someone who'd warned me that the first book was a little bit slower, a little bit more focused on background rather than plot arc, maybe, I'd give the second book a chance before deciding whether I was going to continue with the series or not. Secondly, if the book was written out of chronological order, if either because the author realised part way through that the backstory was a story in itself or because the series was popular enough that fans wanted more of it. The author went back and wrote more books prior to the ones they'd already published. Then because they're aiming for a fixed end point and including fixed historical events from the other books, rather than being able to write from where they left off, I could see that changing someone's style, potentially constraining their flow, leaving them with a different challenge for putting tension in. So potentially, they wouldn't produce as engaging a book in those circumstances if it was the first time they'd gone back and filled in. So I might give the first book that they'd written chronologically a chance to see if I liked their style rather than disregarding the entire series on the basis that the author wasn't brilliant at going back and filling in as a indeed George Lucas proved to be with Star Wars, if uh, you take that view. But uh, third reason, if the book was there and I didn't have other things that I wanted to read, so if I'd been lent the entire series by a friend or if I'd got several of the books from the library because I saw the first three sitting on the shelf, if there weren't any other books in the house that I hadn't read, I might choose to read the second book in the series over rereading a book I'd already read or making a special trip to the library. If I'd find the first book not brilliant, but not terrible either. But the one reason that wouldn't make me read the second book would be a oh no what happens to our heroes next cliffhanger at the end of the first book. Whilst I dislike not finishing a book once I've started reading it, I also dislike cliffhangers for the sake of them. So if I don't have a connection with a book, if the cliffhanger doesn't seem to fit into the arc so that there is a reason why the book ends with the plot hanging in midair. I tend to put the book aside and have that as a reason why I didn't like the series rather than it be a reason why I'd need to read the next book. So that's a relatively straightforward answer by my standards. Toodaloo!